Hello and welcome to BadgerCam. In this week's video, I'm going to be building the Airfix 170 second scale Spitfire Mark I, an aircraft that I think needs no further introduction. I reckon that I've built this kit at least seven times already, spending a lot of my pocket money as a youth on these models, most of them which I wrecked during the making process. So uh, this builds more of a sorry to all the Spitfires that came before it. In the box, you get a sprue bag of parts to build the plane, a full colour instruction manual, and a set of decals to build an early version of the plane based in France at the start of World War II. First look at the sprues. Everything's looking good. Nice deep panel lines on all the parts and a good crisp finish with very little flash. Now onto the build. As per, first thing on the menu is the cockpit. Nice but easy build is this one. Seat and control panel done. It's time to build the spinner. All this is nice and easy to build, but with most of these steps done, it's time to do some pre-assembly painting. The pilot's the first one to get a lick of paint, painting him up in a roughly mixed sort of RAF blue. While he's drying, I give the interior panels and seat a quick coat of Vallejo gunship green, as this is a rough match for the RAF cockpit green. Then it's back to the pilot to give him a hat, a life jacket and boots. As well as some fake shadows to make him a bit more interesting to look at. And then it's a quick revisit to the cockpit to do the dashboard and seat. Pre-painting done, it's time to put the thing together. Little bit of an issue here, the two halves of the main fuselage seem a little warped. The fit's good, but it's going to need some uh, holding while the glue sets. Electrical tape's not great for this, but it'll do I guess. Now time to add the horizontal stabilisers, rudder and exhausts, before moving on to the main wing. There's a bit of a warp in this part again, and a bulldog clip comes to the rescue.
After adding a few bits to the underside of the model, it's onto the undercarriage. This is really nice and simple, but will need to be left to dry for a while before it's safe to leave it on its wheels. But with the wheels on, that's the end of the main build for this kit. Onto the painting. I'm using Vallejo uh, British Standard Dark Earth for the brown, British Standard Dark Green for the green, and Army Painter Black and White and Gunmetal for the underside. All of the paints are going to be built up in three or four thin layers. With the painting done, it's onto the panel lines. For this I'm using Army Paint a Strong Tone with a bit of water and simply rubbing off any excess before it dries with my finger, leaving the paint in the lines. Now it's time to add the decals. I was glad of having some tweezers to add some of the uh, thinner lines on the wings, but other than that, the decals went on nice and easy. The decals in this set were of a uh, good quality and didn't have much carrier film around them. All that's left to do now is give the model a light bit of weathering. And this is the finished model. I'm quite chuffed with how this model's turned out. You've got to love a Spitfire though, it's got some iconic lines. Overall, the kit's easy to make, but with a little bit of warping, tape or pegs will help in the building of this model. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you're thinking of getting one of these kits, it gives you an idea of what to expect from the build. Until next time though, look after yourselves and have a good one. Goodbye.